much we are completing many syllabuses like we are completing core java urban java and the necessary part of spring and the spring boot and whatever things is required for sql and few fundamental things for html css right so you people do hard work and you will get definitely success because in previously we are running many batches okay we are taking one batches as a like five to ten people so many batches people are already engaged so if you do hard work so definitely you will get success okay so whatever content we are providing not additional content we are providing we are just providing whatever things for required for interview and whatever things required for that is in company level so company never how to survive so that things we are providing not many more things we are providing only company level survive things and the interview cracking purpose whatever content is required we just provide that one so we promise so we are providing heavy content okay so you are not in future you are not facing any difficulty okay so if you go that uh, if you go all the content so you are not get getting more and more so that's why if you whatever content we are planning so if you preparing well then you will definitely get success so every every batch already many people are a success so you know, we are illuminating mid one meeting is conducting every month or like that so they are whoever already engaged so that people will coming and uh, how to get success they will also introduce themselves so like this our planning so one thing you people do hard work then you will get success okay okay let's start session okay i will share my screen you guys are you able to see my screen Please respond, guys. Hello. Okay. 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 I'll continue. look here this is all about our content so we are pro covering the in core java this many things so we are first we are going to introduction comments data type variable identifier keyword literal operator control flow statement this keyword constructor static instant member shutter getter oops and then array fundamental classes string exception handling collection multi-threading java 8 features then some additional concept in urban java we are covering in under jdbc this many concept uh, under server this many concept under jsp this many concept under spring this many concept under spring boot this many concept and spring mvc also spring rest ap also web service then few real-time tool that is Maven, GitHub, Bitbucket, Log4j, Logback, SLA4j, JUnit, Mocking, Sonar, Agile, Swagger, Postman, Mail API, Apache, Kafka, then few fundamental things for HTML and CSS and SQL. Okay, this is all about our course content. So if you guys, if you focus this course con content and definitely you will achieve success, do hard work. So whatever things we are providing, so you do hard work, you be practice, then you will get success. Okay. Okay. Then today we'll start our session. Any doubt? Hello.
Okay. Look here. So here we started from initials onwards. Okay. Actually, if you are zero knowledge in software field, then also you will get success. Okay. So if a people didn't know anything in software, so they also study here, they also hard work here, they also getting success. So no worry about whatever things you know, whatever things you don't know, no worry about it. So whatever concept I provide here, so do hard work. Okay. So I will start here. Okay. Today we are starting from Core Java. Okay. Okay. Today we are starting Core Java. This is our basic part. So everything, everything I will cover here. So whatever things require. Okay. So from today class is today main motto. We are creating a how to one program and what is the software is need to create that program and a few definition today part comes things is this much only okay so let's going to some fundamental things for that actually you will know what is that is going on and what happened there okay so we just start about what is code java or what is java look here any people know what is java Any idea about what is Java? Guys. This is our first thing. Okay. You are learning. All are learning Java. So, okay. So, uh, if you know any people what is Java, so let me know. Anybody? Speak, man. If you know, speak. Anybody? Okay, guys. So, so Java. Let what is Java? Assume Java is a language. Okay. So language means like actually look here. You would not know what is software. Okay. No worry for that. What content I will provide? You should learn. Okay. So what is Java? Java means it is a language. Like assume. Uh, let the uh, when you are starting your learning you are you are studying so if you are hindi medium you are starting case you are learning hindi hindi language okay hindi alphabet you are learning uh, if you are english medium in initial case you are learning english alphabet okay so this is this is one type of things in one type of language here here you are learning java okay java means this is one language like alphabet okay initially you can assume this is alphabet 
okay so i will just providing here so what is java so java means actually java is a simple okay simple secure object oriented programming language right so based on java we can develop our multiple uh, application like standalone application and internet application we can develop okay so if you want you can uh, write also so i will call you that uh, definition okay you guys you write what is java java is a simple secure object oriented programming language okay by using java we can develop both standalone and internet application okay you guys right then you will get so more clarity okay so then uh, uh, then we are going to what is source code so in java there's source code is there compiler code is there and uh, what is that uh, compiler interpreter few necessary concept is there so we should be discuss those things then you will get more clarity okay so first part is what is java that fundamental things completed okay then we are proceeding that source code second thing is we are discussing that source code okay source code source code means what source code means developer written code whatever course is developer writing so that code is called source code means developer developer written code okay you guys in future okay if you write some code if you write some logical so that is source code okay then after that one more terminology is there compiler code okay so what is compiler code compiler code means actually java machine we are taking source code then generate compiler code because compiler code machine can understand actually you guys we are writing these things like i am a developer okay i am a developer let us assume this is is readable things okay these things you know so you are a developer but machine doesn't know so what is that so for machine learning purpose actually one code is required that code we are calling that compiler code okay compiler code are you clear guys okay then i post proceed next okay if you don't know guys please write okay please write what is source code what is compiler code everything if you don't know you can write okay if you write that things will help you for interview that things will help you for future okay then i will proceed here so what is compiler okay okay i'll write here source code source code means come machine okay compiler compiler means converting source code at a time okay convert source code to machine okay time
okay then interpreter one terminology is there interpreter okay interpreter means converting same source code to machine language line by line okay so this is one more concept that is okay converting source code to machine blank line by line okay converting source code to machine language line by line okay then we are going to next terminology okay so what is platform so you guys know platform is in real world you can say multiple platform is there okay let assume i'll give one real world example okay if you guys working as a farmer okay so that a cultivation is in your platform right if you are working as a it sector uh, it is, is your platform okay if you are working as a any government job so that to category in your platform but in case of our language okay our software they are having some platform are there okay so platform means they are having so two type of platform is there okay so one is hardware platform another is software platform because you guys following that software platform because software platform means so wh whatever things you are thinking as a logically whatever things you are thinking as a mentally so everything you can express by software okay so then that a platform having two types so platform you can say platform is a hardware and software things okay platform categorized two type one is platform dependent another is platform independent in case of java level okay we are categorized so first of all so you guys write what is platform look here platform means that is hardware and software environment you can write what is platform okay platform means this is hardware and software environment where we are java application for deploy for execution like these things okay so you can write only hardware and software environment okay it is categorized two types okay one is platform dependent another is platform independent okay first category is each platform dependent platform dependent okay platform dependent second is platform you can write independent okay independent okay so what is platform depend and what is platform independent look mark here guys that is platform depend and platform independent to interview question also there okay many interview in future you will facing what is platform dependent what is platform independent here you will facing that interview question mark here important very very important okay platform dependent means what look what what is that meaning of dependent what dependent means we are depending others we are not able to do so for that we are depending other people this is dependent okay so here we can say platform in java or technically what we can say platform dependence means uh, our application we if you are generating dot class file one operating system then that op that dot class file is not running other operating system that is platform dependent 
first guys understand what is the terminology of dependent dependent means we are depending others we are not able to do one thing so for that we are depending others right so in java guess we are using here right you can draw platform dependent means one machine generate dot class file not able to run other machine okay that is platform dependent okay i will read here if a machine generate dot class file from one os operating system it will it will not run other os other operating system okay this is platform dependent then one more thing is that is what is platform independent look here understand what is the terminology of platform independent independent means you guys you are not depending others okay assume if you want to uh, do something for not required to depending others so you can do your own that is the terminology of platform independent okay look here so in technically we can say if a machine generate dot class file it will run other operating system okay i will write here if a machine generate dot class file from one operating system it will it will able to able to run other os okay okay you guys clear in java we can say in java it is a platform dependent or independent okay raj yeah right right ones run anywhere right concept okay then proceed that the next concept okay in java that is platform dependent or independent so java is platform independent okay so if if you write java code one operating system it will be run other operating system okay so we can by using java language you can develop that platform independent program okay 
so then we'll proceed that the next terminology that is standalone application and internet application okay so what is standalone application next terminology is standalone application okay standalone application what is standalone application assume so anybody anybody guys right right for us okay standalone application means that application only run that local operating system that only run that local machine local machine means like calculator that for us given one example like calculator so that is what so that application only run that local machine that is called standalone application standalone application only allow that local call not allow via internet call so assume guys so when you are uh, anything calculate by using your calculator so that is one example of standalone application okay then one more example is you can find that what is internet application internet application means you can call via local call and via internet call you guys uh, right flip card yeah flip card means flip flip card you can call via local call and internet call you can call this is one type of our internet based application okay so right guys you can write this is also important question that is also interview question what is standalone application and what is interview application you guys you can mark so because uh, uh, i will cover every interview question also in the time of session so i will cover all the interview question so you guys please mark very very important okay so standalone application uh, right here i will call you right standalone application code heading standalone application the application which will all only local call or you can put here the application which access only local call is called standalone application example calculators okay then second heading you put internet application the application which access both local call and internet call is called internet application okay example you can put for us given that is flip card okay hmm then we are going to that next topic so what is that we are categorized in java application no we are categorized multiple category okay based on that platform based on that support java application we are categorized look here one application uh, whenever you are using any application okay that application support in mobile many people currently we are using many people mobile many people we are using laptop many people we are using by internet so we just categorize that application uh, which environment it will be support for that actually we are in java application we are categorized three category okay so first category is java micro application okay 
so micro application then standard application then enterprise application you can put micro edition and uh, standard edition then enterprise edition okay i will write here okay categories category okay Catag category three categories there three types okay category there three type first type is first type is java me me means micro edition i will write here micro edition okay okay java micro edition second category is java standard edition standard edition you can write full full name you can write third category is java enterprise edition enterprise edition you can write full name okay so so look here so java micro edition java micro edition means the java application support our mobile environment okay so micro edition means you can as you can say the java application support our mobile environment and and that is the java standard edition standard edition means java application support our desktop desktop environment and that is enterprise edition enterprise edition means java application support uh, all uh, like uh, our internet uh, base okay you, you can put our application as a internet you can put our application as a globally okay so java application that things also support in global environment java application also support that is you can show uh, you can say that is enterprise edition okay so in java application support three environment like the mobile environment like desktop environment like enterprise edition enterprise environment like means internet environment all environment java application are supported okay so then we are going to few concept that is what is jdk what is jre and what is jvm okay three things we are going so you guys more clear the these three things okay this is one okay look here guys first thing we can say in java when you are operating any java application when you want to writing anything in java application you should be three things you should be more clear okay you, th you think three things more clarity then we'll write that java application first thing is what is that jdk what is jdk jdk means actually that is one java environment okay by using this environment we can write our java application A every application you can see every java application jdk must be required without jdk you can't write our java application okay so then jvm then uh, sorry then jre then jvm look here jdk was one software so you should be manual install that one that is jdk software actually currently java jdk is going on that is 20 its version is 20 so uh, first java java version is that is release so 1.0 that is so uh, that is introduced in 1996 okay 
So look, no worry about this. Three things you should be more clarity, then you will be a C. So first thing is what is JDK? JDK is one software. Okay, that is one version. Okay, first thing is JDK. JDK. Second thing is or second thing is JRE. Then third thing is ABM. Okay, look here. It's founder one manner. Okay, what is that manner? JDK subset of JRE. JRE subset of JBM. Okay, look here. JDK content. Here one more thing is there. So you can say that it's compiler. Okay, so JDK content, but compiler and JVM. Because look here, JDK subset of JRE, JRE subset of JVM under JDK. Under JDK, two things I mentioned here. One is compiler, another is JRE. Under JRE, JVM are present. So uh, ultimately, you can say so JDK content, but compiler and JVM. You can write here, right? So JDK subset of JRE, JRE subset of JBM. Okay. If anybody asking what is JDK, what is JRE, what is JBM, you can explain like this. What is this? So JDK subset of JRE, JRE subset of JBM. Look here, JDK content all things. So like JRE and JBM. So you can find out here one point. So what is that? JDK contain both compiler and JVM. You can write here, guys. JDK contain both compiler and JVM. Okay, compiler, then JVM. Then JRE, you can write then JRE. JRE contain only JVM. Okay. You guys clear? Okay. Okay, then I'll proceed here. So what are the ID required to operate our Java application? If you want to developing any small application or bigger application, what are the ID is required? So actually, in initially, we are operating, many people are writing Java code by Notepad, by Edit Plus, by Eclipse, by STS, and IntelliJ. Okay. So everything, everything many people using and implementing Java application. Look here. If you are going to complete level, okay. So complete level, they are not required to writing any code by using Notepad, by using Edit Plus. Okay. In complete level, you can find out they are writing three IDs. Based on three, four IDs, they are writing code. So they are um, using Eclipse or uh, IntelliJ or STS. Okay. Based on three, four uh, things, they are writing. Okay. They are writing their code. So, guys, so we are not wasting more time. We, we don't have more time because our course duration is see, very less. So within two and a half months, we are covering all the things. Okay. So whatever necessary, I, I told you, so whatever necessary things, whatever required for interview and whatever things required for complete level work, how to survive in complete level. So uh, how to do your work, that things only I will provide. So that's why actually here, first I will use STS. Uh, basically in complete level, they are not using Notepad or Edit Plus. They are using only that uh, uh, Eclipse, STS or IntelliJ. So they are using this idea. So first today, I will, I will start uh, installing, I start working by using STS. Okay. By using STS tool, uh, you can uh, develop your Java application. Today is first today class motto is we are giving some introduction, some definition. Then after that, we are what ID is required to uh, develop our Java application. We can install that one. Then third thing is we, we just run one small project, one small application for we are developing by using Java. 
so that things today we'll discuss okay okay guys so then so we are installing that sts sts means spring tool shoot okay so you simply you can right step i will tell you you simply go to google okay in google you can you can search spring tool shoot okay here one option is coming spring tool shoot download okay go to this but okay then after that st right step here you can by using browser you can write spring tool shoot download then go to its first link okay then after that go to below <clears throat> look here you guys if you are operating that uh, linux operating system you can download here then uh, linux air you can download here if you are using mac operating system uh, download here if you are using mac air download here if you are using windows operating system just uh, just download here so just to click download look here download it started okay download is started so after download okay after download you should be install that one okay after uh, i push here because i already downloaded that things okay that is already present in my uh, pc so so this is the process how to download that things okay after download so you, you should extract that one okay after extract extracting you should find one hold on like this look here i'll open i extract that things my um, desktop okay if you, uh, after downloading you will get like this like this folder sts four point something that like this folder you will get so you just go through that one okay then after that you will get like this logo that is springs tool shoot for so like this logo you will get so just to open these things okay after that look here here uh, here one path you find so you can uh, you can choose any path where you want to put your application okay where you want to put your application so you can choose any path here just i i choose here java that is okay batch i choose batch underscore today is okay 12 august okay so i choose this this things then i launch here okay okay it's opening it's taking little time to open okay when you go then this type of interface will happen okay any doubt up to this guys any doubt guys any doubt up to this okay okay then i'll pause it look here so how to install id that's our so look here how to create our own project own application okay so you can write right step also i will i will tell you i will doing in front of you one by one you can write step also so just go to the file option okay first go to the file option then you can go to that new option okay 
file then new then same you can go here that java project option look first step is you can go to the file option second step is you can go to the new option then third step is you can go to that java project option okay then after that you can put here your project name like i put here a project name is first project okay first project okay you can put here first project then you can put if if you want to changing any java version if this is environment no so sometime before we are discussing that jre you no know, here we are using java 17 so j java standard enterprise version java 17 we are using no worry for that you guys slowly you will clear you if you are doing that to practice one by one slowly you should be clear that step so first things is look first thing is go to the file option second thing is go to the new option then third thing is go to the project creation option then put here project name okay then simply simply look here simply you can put here next option okay then you can put a clear that is clutch yes look here in left side look left side corner one project is created right so no worry for that actually i will tell you step by step everything so just follow what i do here so just you can follow so then look at src under src you just you just create one package i will explain okay after program developing i will explain one by one no worry guys so look here after uh, under src you can uh, right click under src you can right click then you can go to that new option then uh, then you should go to the package option okay package name always look guys always remember the package name in real time everywhere if you want to if you are working flipkart company then the package name should be flipkart.com if you want to work in that Google company, the package name should be that google.com. If, if you are working that Jio uh, company, the package name should be Jio.com. If you want to work in any organization, only one thing remember guys, the package name should be that organization name. Okay, so everywhere, if, let you currently you are studying for software engineer builder group. So that's why you can put that package name as a com dot software engineer okay com dot software engineer we can put this is our package name anything okay that is package name should be that organization name then after that you can click that finish option look here one package is created first thing is project created under src we can create package then package created then we are clicking right click then we are creating clicking right click then we are going to that uh new okay right click new then we are creating one class okay no worry guys so what is class and what is package no worry for that just first running we have my motto is today running fast java program just you look and what i do just observe so slowly slowly you will get clarity if you are not understanding if you are not understood anything that is no worry i will explain again and again okay so what i do so look here and follow so what thing is going on okay then you are clicking here that is class option okay after class option guys you can put here that name one blinking is there that is name okay in name you can put that class name okay you all are that student okay so i can put here my class name is student you can put any name okay you can put here any name then you just click finish option okay look here 
one enterprise is open that is class one interface is open that is class interface look here guys look here first is package so package is mentioned second is uh, second is mentioned that is class okay so look what we'll do this is class no worry for that what code i write and no worry for that so i will explain one by one look here so what we'll do so here we'll putting that one method i put here that is main method no worry guys what is main method what things is no worry just what i do just follow so we can write we can we can write here that uh, what is that main method okay so i write here public static void main okay then write here string okay string a array a r g s okay then i start here no worry guys what i wrote here not required to things okay then simply simply one thing i wrote here what is that system system dot out dot print ln okay print ln look here i put it here double cut then i wrote here something so this is august august java batch okay look here i wrote this much code only okay so no worry what i wrote so look only look what how to create package how to create class and how to wrote these things so simply simply what i do simply i do right click here then i go to the raw as option then this is our standalone application so then i are going to that java application option just then run look here whatever things i wrote here that thing is display in below guys look here everything is display in below or not okay this is one this is one you can say this is one java application this is one small very small very small java application okay so this is that input this is output if you look here if you write anything if you write anything any anything if you write anything if you run here just right click run it and java application if you run just that one look the output will be display here whatever things is mentioned here whatever things is mentioned under here so that thing is printing that thing is printing here okay this is your first mission okay how to write java application how to print anything in java this is your first mission this is your first program guys no worry so this is your first mission and first program how to develop one java application okay look here i will ask, explain what i did here what i did this application i will explain here so look first step guys if you want to write so if you want to any short note you can mention also i will explain slowly this application okay so if you don't know anything what i wrote here so uh, you can uh, you can short note also your own words okay because it will be help you when you next time when you want to read and when you want to go uh, regrowing here so in that time it will be help so what i did and what is the things okay <clears throat> first thing is look here we are developing java application our motto is we are developing one java application we don't know uh, anything we forget about all the things first thing is our motto today we are developing one java application okay 
for that actually one id is in, required to install so how to install id so i already explained guys okay that thing is done you everybody i think you will do if you are not do not able to do so tomorrow uh, you can ask me so i will again explain so how to install id otherwise you can refer also uh, so you can refer also any youtube's many youtube guy also there they are also um, uh, creating many content to, to how to install that uh, id you can refer also otherwise uh, if you not catch so tomorrow you can ask uh, i will explain but guys today you should be everyone download or install that id because we are going to explain one by one where step is where duration is very short and we are going to very fast and uh, when and my motto is all things whatever things i explain you guys all thing you catch and you practice and you give interview and you get success then you will grow grow your own life okay okay so one more guys message so the process install jdk which is mandatory to perform java program look here jdk is mandatory for command line when we are developing that application in command line okay that is jdk it is mandatory but uh, in case of if you are using that sts no spring tool should okay this is auto configure or jdk not required to install any jdk or uh, anything because in, because currently in industry level nobody using that uh, command level things nobody using notepad nobody using edit plus everybody using by using id everybody developing that application okay if you want to oh, if you want to install that uh, jdk manually then if you want to doing some uh, operation some program in command level or uh, that by using uh, that is the what that is uh, <coughs> edit plus or uh, any editor like notepad so in that time you can manually need to install that jdk okay but uh, if, uh, if you use the, this uh, type of id like sts intellij is if you are using this type of lies uh, id so here not required to install that jdk okay this is auto configure this id is automatically built up, that things no worry for that okay if you want to go if you want to check also if you want to ch check also by using command line one by one if uh, if you facing any doubt then i will be clear but that is not necessary currently nobody using in industry level because my motto is whatever things is required to uh, doing your work and uh, uh, doing uh, uh, how to get uh, that uh, interview how to crack interview and how to get interview and how to uh, practice and how to you will uh, doing your work so uh, that things is what things is required so i will give that enough knowledge okay if you want to do you can okay look here guys forget about this look here so first thing is i would download that sts okay after downloading sts so my motto is i, I develop one application one project so okay so for that actually we just go that file option okay under file option then then what i do now the new file then go to that uh, new option then java project option then you can put the project name i already explained then i've done actually i create uh, after creating these things after creating project uh, i directly go to that src okay under src actually here i define one package so package is mandatory actually if if initially if you're not explaining if you're not putting package that's also not required because in real time standard okay because in initial day first day onwards whatever things going on in company level so i everything i will explain i will visualize you so what thing is going on in company level because for that uh, actually i will following the step by step 
okay under src actually here what i did uh, i create one package so i just uh, right click src then new then package and then i put package name so you can you can uh, short note here package name always be organization name if you are currently if you are learning here so software engineer builder group you, you are putting the package name this thing uh, in future after uh, completing your course when you are getting any job let assume you are getting job from microsoft okay so in that time you can put the package name is microsoft com dot microsoft or anything so based on a previous development you can put that one okay so this is the package name then package uh, after package okay after package i create class so just i go to that uh, file new then i go to that uh, class option then then i put here class name okay then i simply create one class <clears throat> so look here first is project under project class is there look here this is class uh, above each package is there these two things is clear no worry these things no worry what is main method what is system dot out dot pedal no worry guys these two things is clear or not package and class response guys these two things you clear or not any doubt these two things forget about that uh, uh, method and forget about the system dot order print line only two things package and class you guys clear or not response response okay okay look here here two things is there one is package then one is class okay then after that look here one thing is there that is public static format string array ags okay what is that that is method one method is there that is public static void main string ags that is main method <clears throat> this sentence this sentence we are calling that main method main method what is the work of main method main method work is so whatever things i wrote here okay whatever uh, things on i wrote under system dot out dot print ln so that is all communicated via jvm so main you can say main method is a mediator between java programmer and jvm okay for java programmer whatever things java programmer thinking okay that thing sent to jvm main method will send that, that things to jvm then we will getting that output right so look here so you can you can write in future the under main method you will be more clarity you will get more clarity so what is public what is static what is void what is main so what is string array uh, everything everything in future will get more clarity okay but currently what we will do now currently just you understand one thing main method is a mediator between java programmer and jvm java program means let me me whatever things i will explain today that will send to jvm then jvm will give here output in below jvm will give uh, output so who will do all above these things that is main method will do all the things so main method my my thinking my expression main method will send to jvm then jvm will give output here right so you can you can think you can remember one thing main method is a mediator between java programmer and jvm okay then one more thing is that is system dot out dot print ln 
okay so no worry for that so you will get uh, in future more clarity because just uh, just understood one thing so under system dot outdoor print and whatever things i will write there so everything everything will display everything will printing okay so basically we are using as a printing purpose the system dot outdoor print and basically we are using as a printing purpose just under understand these things no worry for that in future uh, when i will explain one by one in that time we will get more clarity okay so guys so now i think you clear all this program all this thing you clear if you are facing any doubt ask me so again i will explain so please response guys if you are facing any doubt any difficulty just ask me okay okay guys i think i think you clear so if you are not responding means by default it's clear okay guys so today whatever things i discussed so be practice and uh, if you are facing any doubt any difficulty so our mail is official mail is there that is software engineer builder so you can mail there if you are facing any doubt any difficulty any moment if you are mailed within two three hour you, you will get that response okay our team will give that response so within two two three hour if you are facing any doubt any difficulty anything anything if you are facing in your um, in your life or anything so every solution our people because you all are joined here no so this is our one memo uh, our family member okay all are our family member so you should be facing any doubt any difficulty in program level or anything just uh, just mail there so will you will definitely get clarity okay so guys so today this much so if you have any doubt anything just ask so i will give that uh, uh clarification otherwise today will dropping so then tomorrow we'll start again timing will be same guys so if you have any doubt please ask Tell me, tell me, sir. Tell me. Okay, okay. We'll create. So ping here your uh, phone number. So WhatsApp number you can ping. So I will create one group. So for that, actually, you guys more interact. Okay, so you can create also. So then you will guys, you will get more clarity. Okay, today today anybody is recorded this session. If you record this session, then you can share that to Safian. Actually, today I'm not recorded. Okay, so. Okay, guys, today if you anybody record, so share that as Safian. Okay, tomorrow onwards I will record that session. Okay, then I will share that uh, uh, session link also. Okay, today class, if you have any doubt, guys, today class, if you have any doubt, so just ask. You can directly, you can own your audio, then you can uh, talk. No worry for that. Okay. I think no more question, maybe. Okay, guys. So then today we'll dropping. So we'll see you tomorrow. 
okay same time i will catch you guys be practice and be ready for tomorrow session whatever things i discussed today so just you uh, you read you you uh, everything you practice then at least at least guys you download that uh, sts and at least run that one program okay at least run that same program or any program you can write then be practice okay then you will get more clarity okay guys so today we're dropping Okay guys then bye